I love chicken. Like, if I didn't marry my the wife, I would have wouldn't marry the chicken. You know, I wanted to get married in the KFC, but the wife said no. Hey guys, we are all chefs, and today we're going to be trying each other's burgers. G'day, my name's Nathan Lyons. Most people know me as Cooking with the Curry. You could call me a TikTok influencer. I don't think so. I might just make stuff for Dev, and people really like that, eh? Hey? Something you may not know about me is that I've got six kids that I know of, so I'm always cooking stuff, so. That's me. Hey guys, I'm Vicky. I'm a recipe writer and a photo chef, and I also was on an Australian cooking show with my identical twin sister. I grew up in a Greek Australian home, eating lots of delicious food, and my career started all in the kitchen with my grandma. I'm the resident tasty chef at BuzzFeed Oz. I did a film degree before coming to work at BuzzFeed. I also worked at a few other food publishers. Hi, I'm a food creative based in Sydney, and after going to culinary and hospitality school in Switzerland, France, and Australia, Australia. I've been more involved in cooking for photo shoots, culinary copywriting, branding collateral, and just anything to do with food. I do a little bit of everything. It's always about the food for me. When I'm judging these burgers, I'm basically going to be looking at the flavor combination. So does it taste good? Do the flavors work well together? Creativity is so important in a burger. And especially with my idea, I feel like I've gone really creative. Um, so I hope everyone else has done the same thing. And also a bit of surprise, because I think burgers are just so personal and it's nice to be able to feel the person's personality in their food. So like always, we're gonna be rating the burgers out of 10. The one of the high school is the winner, oh, mate. I'm thinking for my burger, I want to make sure that when people taste it, that it's got a really distinct flavor. And to do that, I want it to have a really good sauce. So to make my burger, I'm doing a Korean fried chicken patty, which I'm gonna double deep fry. For the sauce, I've got gochujang paste, some rice wine vinegar, and a little bit of sesame oil mixed with Stubbs barbecue sauce. To build the burger, what I do is you start with a toasted bun, add some mayo on, kimchi, get that fried chicken patty on there, top it with that special amazing sauce that I made, and add some lettuce on top. Then we put the lid on and it's good to go. Damn boy, this is some good looking burger. Oh my God, there's kimchi on here. I'm excited to bite into this. And like, I feel like it'll be a bit of a textural journey. I'm a I'm massive chicken fan. I love chicken. Like if I didn't marry my the wife, I would have wouldn't marry the chicken. You know, I wanted to get married in the KFC, but the wife said no. Ooh, that's a good time. The kimchi is beautiful. I rate this. Go on, Ryan. The chicken seasoned really, really nicely too. It's juicy and it's super moist, but unfortunately, I just I'm just not I'm not into kimchi. Ooh. There is some spice as well. The other thing is, uh, with me, I, I, I think it's just a little bit too big. The burger bun, uh, it's a bit dry. I think Ryan should have gone a brioche bun. I would have liked a bit more kick to the kimchi. It was kind of kind of a little bit flat in terms of spice. Overall out of, out of 10, probably a five. I give Ryan an eight. I feel like he's really hit the mark here, but for me, a 10 would have been something a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable and not so. Woo. All right, I'm gonna score Ryan's burger a five today because you wrecked it with the kimchi. Sorry. Hope you still love me, Ryan. So I was just thinking how I could put myself in the burger in many ways. I guess each element reminded me of something that I've been able to experience before. So that's how my burger came to be. My burger is comprised of a few different elements. To start off with the burger patty, it's inspired by a Pakistani kebab known as chapli kebab, but it's got some spices in it as well as secret ingredient, armchur, which is dried mango powder. And then on top of that patty, we've got some melted gruyere cheese, a special sauce made with coriander and tamarind chutney with some mayo. For my special sauce, I like to add a hint of mustard from time to time. And then we've got some buttery caramelized onions, fresh tomato and cos lettuce, and then a burger bun that's been toasted, but brioche all the way. Meat, lettuce, tomato, sauce, onions. You know, it has a classic feel to it, which, which is really, really nice. The chef who's created this, I think definitely has played it safe. Could they have like taken it up a notch? I don't know, but I haven't tasted it yet. Look at that, yum. That's a good burger, I really like that. That was something special, I tell you. She's definitely chosen the correct bun. Everyone loves a brioche bun wrap. Like I was getting like 
a hit of like all these spices in that burger and I just did not expect that. It was very herby. I'm pretty sure she's put coriander in there. Coriander is one of those things that it will start a punch on in a pub. You either you love it or you hate it. The caramelized onions, they were special. Like they were buttery and soft and like melted in my mouth. It's like pineapple on a pizza. Does it belong? doesn't belong. I've seen fights start over, over pineapple on pizza and for anyone who disagrees with pineapple on pizza can meet me in the car park because pineapple belongs on a pizza. Presentation wise, that's like the one thing I'm looking at where I'm like, maybe they could have done a better job on presentation. I feel like she's played it a little safe. That is a beautiful burger and it tastes good, but it's just a little on the basic side. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. I loved the flavor, I loved the size, and I think it was executed really well. It's a nice size burger, it, it's, it's a good, it's a great tasting burger. I reckon about eight and a half. Uh, that's, that's a nice burger. For Miss Basic, I think I'm gonna go a seven out of 10. I'm going to be cooking a Greek feast. I've started off with a yogurt bitter bread, Greek yogurt, flour, salt, pepper, and then you roll it all up and then fry it in a frying pan. I've got a beetroot tzatziki, we've got Greek yogurt, we've got grated beetroot, salt, pepper, dill, and then we've got that huge lamb patty. So we've got a block of halloumi, and then we've wrapped it in lamb mince and then deep fried it. Uh, yum and then we've gone tzatziki and more bread. Good luck getting that in your mouth, guys. Burger got back. <laughs> Just damn. Oh my God, this is not a burger. This is like pancakes. I, I'm a little scared. Pink, pink and purple. I can't fit my mouth around. You haven't got a chainsaw or a hacksaw or something to chop it in half or what? It's a big mama jammer. Uh, uh, that's a Trinosaurus nugget or something. Is this a Krabby Patty? I'm just trying to work out how I'm gonna attack this. Mm. To infinity and beyond. Oh, I'm getting to the center of the burger and there's like cheese in the middle of the patty. I applaud Vicky on making this just so like the layers, the textures. It's just a bit big. For a dino nugget, it's not bad. It didn't taste like any burger that I've ever tried before. She used some lamb over there. That's a bit different. Okay. The patty's got real nice flavors, man. But it's just, you need a Mack truck to take it home. Really heavy with dill. I'm not a big fan of dill. Because the saltiness of the halloumi with the lamb mince, it all works in theory, but I think in execution, we could have just had maybe a little bit of a thinner halloumi. It would have been perfect if it had a smaller burger patty and less dill. The flavors are so up there, so I'm gonna give it a seven. This burger delivered like a lot of creative flair. I'm gonna give you a seven out of 10. So I think I'm gonna have to go with a six. Just the, the, so, the overall size I let it down on that one. I'm one of the stay true to me roots. So we got Devon involved, we got me old mate Devon. Uh, but I wanted to uh, showcase a little bit of uh, one of my favorite foods, which is Japanese food. So for my burger, I've gone for a Japanese style uh, burger. It's got rice buns on it, grilled in avocado oil. It's got a Devon schnitzel on it, which has well, Devon and uh, a Swiss cheese crumbed in panko crumbs. It's got a lovely Japanese curry sauce on it and a slice of lettuce and slice of tomato. Beautiful. Nathan kindly made me a chicken version because I don't eat pork, but first thoughts, this is a beauty. A Japanese sushi style burger. Ah, it's so cute. The rice bread is super creative and I've had it before, but I just don't do Devon. Maybe in some ways I like to see very traditional burgers from the outset so you know it's one, but I'm open-minded. I don't think I've been as excited to eat a burger in my life. Huh? That's not chicken. Rat rice is really crispy. Yum. The middle is Devon and cheese. Great textures. However, it's the kind of spammy meat that lets it down for me. It was a bit squidgy on the inside. Devon still tastes the same how it did 25 years ago. That's good, they haven't changed their recipe. Rice patty is amazing. Like that I would say is my favorite part and the nori and the sauce, which I think he's used like a like a curry sauce. I have to commend the chef on doing like a pretty top job, especially with like a meat that I would not have thought of using. Devon isn't an easy product to use and to make delicious as well. Like when you think of Devon, you think of tomato sauce and Devon sandwiches for school or, you know, in the sandwich press. So 
This is very creative. Definite things there that I would love to recreate at home, but the patty, which is really the star of the show, just kind of, oh, oh it, yeah, it, it just didn't, it didn't do it for me. So I have to give him a six. Overall, this is well balanced and flavor wise, it works. So for that, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Out of 10, let's say seven, seven's fair. Honestly, it means everything to me. I'm proud of my burger because it's my family. It's like my family and a burger and my upbringing and heritage. So I'm just so happy to have that be the winning burger and for that to resonate with people. If you want to see us chefs do anything else, comment below, let us know what else you'd like us to try and we'll do it.